Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX on this Gothic Tune New Balance mod. Today we're gonna be doing uh, the Buy Fire and Sword quest which also gives you the opportunity to make your own camp. So we're gonna call this My Camp. And if you already talked to Lord Hagen you can start with this quest. And if you're here on Owner's Farm like I am, let's get into it. You can also talk to Torloff and he's gonna give you a quest, I already took it that you can clear Dexter's tower of those um, ungrateful seekers. Well, I wouldn't say ungrateful, but they are definitely not trustworthy. <clears throat> so try to range most of them if you can, because I definitely will. And that way, you don't even have to get the uh, possessed potion from Pyrocar and make things easier on yourself. Okay, and I think there's one more in here, which is kind of a uh, in a bad spot. So we're gonna try and kill him from behind. There we go. And then you have a couple of more in the other tower with undead skeletons guarding it. There we go. And there should be two more skeletons on top and one dark master on top of it. And once you clear this area... Once you clear this area, then you can start getting your own people into this camp. And makes things a little easier on your... What would you call that? Gold income. You can get quite a bit of gold out of here. Of course, it accumulates daily. So the more days pass, the more you can do. Okay. Let's go back to... Uh, first, we're going to go to Torloff and tell him that we got rid of them. And you get 1500 experience. Then you can go to Lord Hagen. And tell them you also got rid of them. And he will give you an option to take the, the tower for yourself. So after you talk to Lord Hagen, let's see what it says. My new property. Uh, owner wouldn't like that. So I thought of myself things with him first. We're going to go to the owner's farm again. We're going to talk to Onar to give us the tower without paying any rent. Hello, Loa. <laughs> uh, the south of your farm is an old tower. Gives you 25 gold. Wow. A whole damn lot. Uh, and if you have 50 rhetoric, then he's going to give it to you for free. And then you can go back to Lord Hagen, obviously. And you're going to tell him that you have been successful. He gives you a royal certificate. Now, if you go to your camp, it used to say, um, it used to say Dexter's camp, but now it says just camp. And there's going to be a couple of guards here that you have to talk to first. You give him the royal certificate. And you can go in. Make sure you open this door if you haven't already. Clear everything that's inside if you haven't done it already. Let's see, I think I already cleared the ore veins as well. And now the first thing we want to do is... Uh, hmm. Finding a good steward is the utmost importance on this journey of ours. So we're going to go back to owner's farm and going to go talk to... Uh, Emir? I think his name is Emir. I can't remember. It's been such a long time that I played. Like three weeks that I keep forgetting stuff. Oh, El Buster also gives you a little quest here. And look at that. 47 Shadow Beast one. You can give it to him for 100 gold each. Normally, uh, the uh, merchants in town don't buy them for even not even half that. Errol, this is the guy we're talking about. 
Uh, how's it going? Would you like to work for me? Great, then I'll see you there. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to teleport away, away from here. And to the black troll is the furthest, I think. And then we're going to go back to my camp. And he should already appear there. There you go. Here's the 5,000 gold. So he gets right into fixing stuff. And uh, we need to start a supply of food. Which is uh, 50 pieces of roast meat, 25 fish and 5 loaves of bread to be exact. Now the bread is hardest to get if you have used it already on... Um, on your pies but I think I still need to make fried meat we're gonna make 250 nah, just a hundred sometimes I still use it I think everything else I should have it in my inventory there we go all right cool now he says we need to start looking for people we're gonna go Talk to Farim, the fisherman in the harbor area. Now, since he cannot sell any fish anyway, he might as well work for us. Might as well uh, fish in the meantime. There you go. Two fish caught. Uh, how are the fish biting? Can I buy your fish? And there he goes. He's off to our camp. We're going to pay him for it, of course. Then we're going to go to the market square and we're going to talk to Nicholas the hunter. Kadoom, kadoom, kadoom. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Speed Force, the Flash. I, I, th I think I said that in the previous video. How's it going? Deal. <laughs> Okay, so everybody starts working for you. Then you can go back to uh, what's his name, Errol. Sometimes you have to wait a day or two uh, for him to give you the next step. I think so, yes. Or at least until people show up in here. So I'm gonna sleep until the next day and see what happens. Like he starts working at eight in the morning. Because otherwise he's sleeping. Um, here he is. There you go. Okay, we're going to have to get ourselves a cook. And who do you think the cook is going to be? It's going to be our good old cook lady, Eda. Because she lives in the slums anyway. Might as well. Might as well work for me instead. Okay. Edda will now be our cook. The camp needs food supplies. Okay. Let's see what's next. I think now is a good time to talk to Viper. I believe. I will check. Yes. So he's going to go there and he's going to check it out. We're going to go to the Black Troll again. So we uh, make him teleport there faster. And then go back to the camp. Let's see what Efero has something to say. No, I think we're going to have to wait another day. But Viper should also be here. And he's going to tell us how, how it is. So you have 40 rhetoric. Viper will join. Uh, and he's going to start digging immediately. The second guy is going to be Snipes. Snipes is in Lobart's farm. If you haven't finished the... Uh, if you haven't finished the uh, the ore quest, then he's going to be in Lobert's farm. If you have finished it, he's probably going to be in the tavern of the dead harpy. Let me see. Ah, there he is. Yeah, 50 rhetoric. He will also join you. And uh, mostly because he's going to have a nice, chill, not uh, digging ore the whole day kind of job. 
OK. And then we're going to go to the Valley of Mines, and we're going to get two more people there. We're going to go to the new camp. We're going to talk to Grimes. If you remember these people, they were mostly all of them were in the... Uh, in the old mine that collapsed. Uh, God, I hate when it's so rainy. Now they're working here in the in this camp with uh, where Marcus used to be. For him, you're gonna have to get three sleep scrolls, I believe. But you have to bring him to your camp personally. Okay. Now both of these two people are gonna follow you. And make sure you have the run, that NPCs run to you faster on, so uh, they don't get lost on the way. I'm gonna take this route down under, and quick, make sure they keep qual uh, keep following you. I check if the, yeah, I have it off. So this option has to be on, and then both of them are gonna sprint to you. I believe, yeah. So you can actually go faster or you can sprint and they will actually follow you. Where do you have to take them? To the Corinna's Pass. And once you're there, you tell them that you will see them on the other side and then you have to go to the Valley of Mines Pass in Corinna's. They're still both behind me, which is great. Also, the other convict receives a name after he joins you in the, in the camp, which is nice that they changed that. Here we are. Now, go back to Corinna's and go to the Valley of Mines Pass. If you haven't activated that teleporter stone, then just go to the Brotherhood or whatever is closer. And they will wait for you at the Valley of mines pass gate where the two paladins were dead so we're gonna go towards here and there they are okay and i'm gonna go to towards where for me it's the easiest and uh i have killed pretty much everything on the way Okay, let's see. I hope they don't die coming down here. Okay, they don't. Nice. Let's just go down here. Towards Onar's farm. Because the, towards the hunters, I still have a few seekers that I haven't killed yet. So this, for me, it's a little easier. And... Uh, yeah, once you get up there, they will just join you and uh, you can continue searching for new people. This is the hardest part, basically. Sometimes they get stuck, sometimes they jump down. Um, make sure you save often here. I don't because I already know how to do this properly. I just do it slower. Okay. Okay. There we go, here we are, this is my camp, and then they can relax. Hunty, he na he renamed himself from con Convict to Hunty. Let's see if Everall has anything to say. No, I think I have to wait for another day. We're gonna go and uh, start waiting another day. Talk to Errol one more time. You can get a blacksmith if you so wish. You don't have to. But I do recommend it because they have changed quite a few things since this has been implemented. And the only blacksmith that can work for you is actually Carl. That's down here. In Corinus. And let's see if um, 
he, what, by the time he comes back to the camp, Errol will ha also have something to say one more time. So Snipes is here, Ada is here, Carl is here. Yes. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Start producing steel bullets, get iron mine from the warehouse, get magic ore from the warehouse in the camp. You can also take money from the camp. But I believe uh, we have to talk to Lord Hagen. So the supply camp for this additional income. We need to talk to her all and ask him to start making blanks. And then for the next step, we're going to have to do something else, I believe. I finish this off uh, screen. Um, before you actually get the armor for, for the guards, you actually have to get a few people to guard your camp in the first place. For example, Bill Gott, if you saved him from the Valley of Mines, will be standing near the Tavern of the Dead Harpy, uh, which he's gonna talk to me then you have Gavern which is in Cardiff's tavern you can also convince him and you also have Alric that I cannot see here I think he's uh, on the other side in this area I'm not sure yeah he's here and once you get all these three people to join your camp Errol will ask you to bring him the blueprints that are located in the uh, the abandoned mine above the Corinna's Pass, the same place that we found the elixir for Zurus. After that, you also can get Sagita if you if you saved her by getting her some mercenaries with the help of Lee in Owner's Farm. Uh, and once all of that is done, there's no more people that you can get. If you check your logbook, the completed quest is done with the people from the camp. And that is it. That's all there is. And if you have any other questions, as always, please write them in the comments down below. Uh, and, uh, well, I hope to see you in the next video and have a good day.